girls, welcome back to my channel. I'm Enchanted Brat and it's so lovely to be here with you today. So I have yet again another amazing thrift haul for you guys. This time it's about four to five-ish days of thrifting. You guys are not gonna believe the kind of thrifting week that I've had. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you most likely have seen a lot of these pieces already. And I've mentioned this before, but if you wanna be able to see like some of these thrifting pieces that I find first, make sure you follow me on the Instagram. I just have things in big piles all around me and they're separated by days so that I would remember for this video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start with what's on top, but it looks like a little bit of accessories. First thing that I have here, I actually shared this on my Instagram story a few days ago and it's this really beautiful kind of like cameo necklace and how extra it is like with like the faux pearls all around and like this twisted chain it's so pretty and I love the fact that the cameo is pink of course on this really pretty cross charm if some of you know me then you know that I'm really obsessed with crucifixes and just finding these really cool like gaudy crosses are my absolute favorite. This one's probably my most favorite that I have thus far. I think so. It's really gorgeous. I really love like pearls and faux pearls and things like that and gold. The next thing I found is this really beautiful charm. This really pretty like green in it. When I picked this out from the counter, the lady that was working at the register was like, wow, like you have an old soul, don't you? Like all these things that I was getting. I was like, yes, I do. Give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> but I ended up finding this cool charm here. You open it. It lists all 10 commandments on the inside, which I think this is epic. I love this. Honestly, I don't know if it was meant to be a necklace charm or if it's meant to be a keychain. Either way, I think this is really cool. I'll probably wear it as a necklace. I ended up finding these really pretty earrings. They're like these like brushed silver earrings with like hearts at the bottom and like these little rhinestones. I really love, I think I mentioned this before, but I love like brushed silver and brushed gold because it gives it more of like an antique look to it. And I love anything that's heart shaped. You guys know that. And I love gaudy jewelry. Look at that so pretty my fiance actually found this one for me which i really love again we have that really cute cameo in the middle and on the inside it looks like this i felt that i can use this to like store like really pretty rings inside and at the bottom there's like a little space as well for more jewelry i have an endless supply of jewelry so i always need jewelry organization like this i just really love the details in it i really love this kind of like broken glass and then put back together kind of a look and it looks like it has like some kind of curve of writing on it as well this is just such a beautiful piece and look how there's like flowers in it oh absolutely stunning it's kind of like a minty blue color i'm starting to really like this color a lot pink is always going to remain my favorite color but i just could not pass up on this one i just thought it was too unique this one is so pretty i've been finding like quite a bit of brown and like darker pieces lately which i've been liking actually even though i'm more of like a light fairy <laughs> i just really love how there's like a lot of different patterns going on in this top the back is completely lace which i love that as well this is one of those pieces that you would have seen if you were on my instagram page I actually thrifted this beautiful lace made dress. This is my second lace made thrift. So my first one was like the really pretty like soft green one with the little pink bows. Literally my dream one. I feel like I manifested that one. And then a couple of months later I end up finding the yellow one which I'm really excited about. It's like a maxi, super long. I love the lace detail. And I was just explaining how much I've been loving this really soft like banana pudding kind of yellow. And now I found a dress. I have quite a bit of slip dresses already, but this one I felt was special because I know I think they're all special, but <laughs> this one was really pretty because I really love how there's like rosettes all throughout the entire slip. And the next piece I have for you guys is this really pretty skirt, a midi skirt, but I really loved the kind of like crinkly details that were on it. Like I told you guys, you know I love details. So this one, I'll probably end up adding like some lace to it or something like that, but I thought it would be really pretty with what a corset i know i'm always corsetting everything but super pretty and like more of a simple piece for more of my like extra top i was so excited to find this one anytime there's like a really pretty like vintage lacy piece i'm just like over the moon in love with it let me back up so you guys can see but it's this really pretty entirely creamy lace Dress. Almost my entire closet looks like this just because of how much I love flowy lacy pieces 
pieces like this. What I love about this is I love that it's like this brown soft velvet. I love velvet and then it also has this really extra dramatic detail around the neck. I just love that. You guys know how much I love the accentuation at the top there so I had to pick this one up. These heels I got lucky. I ended up going on a sale day and only getting these for one dollar so I was really excited. I like that pretty damask pattern that I really really am obsessed with so I was really excited especially since they're my size. The next piece I have here I literally hear basketball. Who is playing basketball right now? The next piece I have here is this really pretty red corset. I know I mentioned in a previous video that red is not entirely my color, but if I find something that's red and it looks super pretty like this and has like a lot of details, I can't leave her there. So I had to get this one. And I love satin and like really soft, dreamy materials like this. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this one I did post to my Instagram page, but this was more of like something to literally laugh about. <laughs> It's just way too funny to leave behind. I just, I could not. Like the fact that I really thought this was Dior is hilarious. <laughs> like it really got me. Like I think that was the goal. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you definitely see this already. <laughs> but I thought this was Dior, but look what it really says. <laughs> this one I probably will be letting go, but I think it's just so funny. Like one of those like novelty bikini tops. This is just iconic. Like I've never seen this before. And when I find stuff that makes me laugh, I gotta get it. <laughs> This one I think is really fun. This one's actually a two-piece. So this is what the top part looks like. And the bottom is so pretty, you guys. Look at this skirt. I love this. I love finding two pieces that look like this. It kind of has like a Victorian look to it. Really pretty suede top. You guys, look how beautiful this is. It's entirely suede and it's a halter top, you guys. And look at the detail at the bottom. So pretty. And this is the back. Oh my god, have you guys ever seen anything like this? I just think she is so pretty. And I actually got a skirt, reminds me of it. It looks like this. I love the front of it because it has like all these gems. Look at this. One of them needs to be restitched back on this, but that's like no big deal at all. But look at how dramatic this top part is, you guys. So pretty. And when I found them both in the same store, I was like, this looks like they can go together. Like, this is so cool. Love finding unique pieces. Like, this is what treasure hunting is all about. These kind of things right here. Do you find this in the mall today? Like, absolutely not. <laughs> And the next piece I found is this really pretty, more of a like simple basic top, but I just think she's so delicate. Like look how pretty this is. It's such a like little darling top. I love how the front is. Look at these details and then the bottom as well with this pretty lace. Guys, this is one of those ones that you've probably seen if you have me on Instagram, but look how beautiful this little baby doll skirt is, you guys. Oh my goodness, is she not so lovely? There's bows all throughout this skirt, you guys. And it's vintage, and this part right here, like, it's like a little belt that you corset together. The string's still there, but they're just not corseted up. But it's so pretty, and look at the lace detail at the bottom. Oh my goodness, whoever made this is just... They did such a great job, you guys. And I found not only this one, I actually found a second one very similar in the same store. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'll probably end up selling this one because she doesn't fit me the way that the pink one does. But look how pretty. Oh my goodness, I love these. And the fact that these were only $5 each is just insane to me. Look at the bows. Oh my goodness. Kind of like a blazer top kind of a thing, but it's like soft. It's a button up. But I really loved the like green lace detail throughout the entire thing. And on the sleeves, these are entirely see through. So I thought this was really cool and unique. These next few pieces are so amazing. The fact that they were in the same store is just insane to me. Like, who donated all these together? Like, look at this skirt. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's like a little vintage flapper, lacy kind of thing. I love the lace itself, it feels so vintage. Like, this was only like at Belk. The brand is Caitlin Michelle, and it was originally $98, but this feels like so old. I don't know what it is, but I know it's not that old, like 20s, but the way that the lace feels, it just feels like very, very high quality. And you guys, this skirt was also at the same location. Look at this skirt. 
Oh my goodness, and it go it keeps going, you guys. It's like a very long maxi skirt. Look how pretty she is. She fits into my background like so well. Like I could just hang it up right there, literally. <laughs> but it's so pretty, and I love the little bow detail at the top as well. Almost also at the same location, you guys. Look, like this is what I mean. Like somebody had an, a killer wardrobe and must have donated the entire thing on the day that i walked in like are you serious right now look at this cute little dress you guys and this reminds me if like selkie was like around for a long time like this would be a selkie dress like a vintage selkie dress kind of thing like this is what this reminds me of like look at the details on the puff sleeves you guys it's so pretty and it's around the neck and on the back side as well. It fit like a glove, you guys. I like to wear these underneath things that happen to be like a little bit too short or like if they don't have a lace detail and kind of has like a boring like blunt cut or something, then I usually throw one of these underneath to spice it up and make it look prettier. Also got this one as well, which is just a little bit longer and more poofy, but still so pretty. And I know they're black, but you have to have them in every color. And I also found this beautiful vintage dress. This one was at the same location as those little skirts and the like vintage looking like selkie dress kind of thing. So pretty, like I said, somebody's wardrobe. <laughs> I have it now, thank you so much. But look at this. It's like this really pretty like champagne-y pink color and the top part's like this tan. It has these adorable sequins, you guys. Oh my goodness, I am so happy to be able to add this one to my collection because she's so stunning. And also at that location, I ended up picking up the cutest little hat, you guys. Oh my goodness. It looks like a little like old fashioned vintage cake. I love this. And it has like all the like ruffly details, lacy details, and the little pop of pink with the pink bow. So adorable. Also love thrifting like pillowcases, sheets, blankets, tablecloths. They're nice for like picnics or parties, Thanksgiving, celebrations, whatever like that. I just think that it's so much fun. It spices it up and makes it look more festive and fun. So. I apologize if you guys can hear my air fryer, but I'm hungry. <laughs> so I also ended up picking up this little Hello Kitty head, which is so cute. I love this one. I think that it's meant to be a little piggy bank, but I'm just going to use her as decor purposes because I find a lot of like more like modern Hello Kitty things. So when I find something that's a little bit more vintage, that's decor, I feel like it fits my decor better when it's vintage. I actually found some like a day or two ago too so I'm actually happy because this one is like a really pretty like soft blue and it has like pink flowers throughout so I love using stuff like this for either wallpaper or to line my drawers I like everything to be very pretty and girly so even like the inside of my dressers and nightstands I love them to be like really pretty and I like to smile when I open my drawers so that's what I got this one for and for more decor I ended up picking up these really pretty candlestick holders I really love the look of like more of a wrought iron because it has more of like an antique look to it than like regular iron so or even if like regular iron is painted to look antique that's what i love and i love like little crystal danglies like this as well so i feel like this matches my look perfectly so i ended up picking up the cutest little candlestick holder you guys look how pretty this one is it's like a little bouquet of pink roses and it's all wrapped up in a little pink bow you guys i love this so much i love things that look like victorian era so i had to pick this one up i also really love soft shade it's kind of like a bluish gray color with like this gold damask which I feel like makes it look even more vintage love how it's like a burnout velvet it's so pretty my fiance actually found this one for me on the way out the door when I was checking out and then I was like oh my god what is that I need look how pretty this corset is I love the details and when you look super close at first glance I thought these were flowers but they're actually bows you guys look how pretty I actually feel like I've been manifesting these little pieces lately because at one point I had like three or four of these laying around. I ended up selling them, but I was just so excited to find another one. But again, like it's not my right size. I think I already have my size, so this one I am going to be selling, but 
way too pretty to pass up on this dress is so unique and pretty you guys know how much i love unique pieces this one it has this really pretty like black lace trim on the top with little like rhinestones and it has like these pretty strips of gold all throughout you guys and look at the bottom it's also lacy as well so pretty i love the way that this one looks it kind of gives like this corset effect in the front here which i love and i love how it falls into like this like kind of like asymmetrical hem fairy hem i just love that theater going to a little like opera date night or theater date night vintage theater date night <laughs> what do you guys think i think it's cute another red piece i know i've been finding a lot of red lately and i don't even really wear it but this one is one that i'm probably going to be wearing now because i just think it's so pretty you can kind of see like this rose pattern detail throughout and it's like this really nice satiny material when i tried it on i was like wow this is so cozy i don't even want to take it off i think this is the last piece for for day one we still have three more days to cover i think that it's a beautiful last piece look at this beauty you guys it's pink this one is going to be staying with me look at the little pink bows i also ended up getting the dreamiest little purse you guys look how pretty this is like is this not a dream to you this one was not thrifted this one was actually well technically it is but this one was at an antique store so it's more of a higher price i know i buy things at a bargain all the time when i'm thrifting but it's not a problem to treat yourself every once in a while and splurge on something like this i just had to have her and i felt like it was a good price because it was on sale and the ones that i was seeing online were like 300 and this one wasn't anywhere near that price this one was more of like the 70 80 dollar range so i ended up getting this one because i felt if i didn't get her now i was probably not going to ever again because it probably wouldn't be that cheap again and i just don't want to spend too too much on a purse this one is mary francis which is one of my favorite designers when it comes to purses look at this like beautiful rosy detail you guys and like the really pretty pink gem in the middle and the fact that everything is heart shaped like are you kidding even the jewels on the chain are hearts as well you guys and there's hearts all along here the gold detail is all hearts 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 everywhere like the queen of hearts yes me <laughs> i'm gonna take a brief intermission because i did just get back from a market and i'm super hungry so before i get a headache i'm going to eat something and then i will get back to the thrift i apologize that i'm finishing this the next day but i may have a little bit of extra thrifts to add now that i had a day in between but i did keep days two through four in like piles in front of me so it's still in the same order and everything i'm just going to continue on where we left off yesterday so this nightie was one of the nighties that I had on Instagram where I showed you guys that I found like a ton of like dreamy lingerie in one space like a two-piece set it's like silky and it's a soft pink color you guys oh my goodness it's really hard to find like the lingerie slip with the robes still attached usually the robes are like missing and just long gone this one it's all creamy colored I know you guys have seen this before because <laughs> these are completely my style and I really never leave them behind when I see them and I love when there's like little like sequin and rosette details like this. This beautiful prom dress. It really depends on like where you go because a lot of people will see these as beautiful and very, very like expensive. And then there's other thrift stores that'll just see these as like extremely ugly. I love it. Look how pink it is. And look at the sequin details, you guys. Oh my goodness. I love collecting vintage pieces like this. I love when there's a lot of frilliness going on. This one has like these beautiful little like flower details all along the chest here. And they brought it to the sleeves as well you guys i love that i had so many like inquiries on instagram this one was one of those from my haul reel when i was in the store i had a lot of people ask me if i'm going to be listing this and the answer is yes i will be because she is a little bit too big for me sadly i love when like the straps are like adjustable to this point so where you can like tie them in bows like i think that's so much cuter than like the traditional like adjustable like little piece and i ended up getting this really pretty one this one was also in one of my hauls on instagram but i really love when there's like velvety type of material like especially in skirts when it kind of has like this tear detail it kind of gives me like an opera kind of a renaissance kind of a feel 
I cannot part ways with this, you guys. Look how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness. I feel like I see like these tops a lot on like Depop, online and Pinterest and stuff like that. But I've never been able to like find this shade on my own. Like I found one similar that was like blue. I think I might have found one maybe in like a pinkish kind of a color. But I've never found this combination. I just think she's so magical. This is another one of those pieces that sadly is too big for me. But I just can't part ways with this one quite yet. Because I feel like she's kind of like those ones where I can just like wear and I can put like a corset over it and I feel like I can like style her to where she'll look like my size more. It's this really pretty all lacy top. I love how you can tie a little bow in the front here and again we have those really pretty like flowy lacy details on the sleeves. Another one from my Instagram haul. This beautiful little pink slip dress. I can't get enough of pink slip dresses. Can you guys? Like I just can't. Like Anytime I find a pink slip dress, it's most likely going home with me. Really pretty little summery dress. I just fell in love. I couldn't believe a lot of these finds I actually found in the same location because a lot of the times when you see my hauls, they come from different locations all compiled together. But when I find them all together in the same store, it's like, oh my god, oh my god, is there any more? Like, who donated all these beautiful things at once? Beautiful skirt here. It's like a little creamy colored skirt. Beautiful little sequin details. And then it kind of like flares out and has this really pretty lace trim on the bottom as well. One of those ones where I was like finding all the dreamy lingerie together. So pretty. This one's kind of like a champagne tone, but she is a size large, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to fit her. She's a little bit too big for me, but look how pretty these details are. Probably will end up in my shop. It's like bittersweet. Like I'm happy that's going to go to one of you beauties, but look how pretty. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> I have like a million more. I could not get over this set. I was kind of like battling back and forth, like wondering if I wanted to pay their pricing. Like, okay, $35 is actually amazing for this set, but just where I was getting it from, I just, the thrift store shouldn't cost that much, right? <laughs> so it's like bittersweet. It's like, yeah, it's a good deal. At the same time, it's like, dang, this freaking thrift store is getting kind of expensive, but they know that you're going to buy it. So they just mark stuff like that anyway but i need to stop buying stuff i need to stop buying stuff when they are like charging outrageously but look how cute this is you guys it's fully suede she is so beautiful and the fact that there's like the little letters trim you guys know i'm like a sucker for these kind of sleeves the fact that she came with a matching skirt like you guys <laughs> i could not leave her there look at this vintage set and look at the back of it too oh so cute i couldn't I had to keep her. I had to take her with me. I was like, you know, if I change my mind, like, yeah, I'm going to sell her. But I just could not. Like, my heart would have been, like, when I, as soon as I got home, I would have been like, I need to go back and get that set, like, ASAP. Do you guys, I know you guys know exactly what I mean. Like, you leave something behind, and then you're like, why did I do that? And then you go back, and it's gone. I couldn't have that happen to me. So I had to get her. <laughs> my, like, hair clip is, like, not holding on. <laughs> This is one of those tops that I showed you guys on Instagram. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful she is. I love this color brown as well. I feel like brown is one of those pieces that are like more on the darker side that I love having an abundance of. Like I don't wear a lot of black, but I do love brown. So look how pretty she is. Look at those details. Look at the bow in the front. Just absolutely stunning. And again, what do we have? This beautiful little like lacy trim on the sleeve. I do own a few pair of these like a little vintage gloves, but when I see them for cheap, I have to get them. These ones were only a dollar and I think they're so cute paired up with like little pretty fancy dresses and stuff like that. So got these. Okay, my hair looks better with the corset, I think. I think of course that makes everything better. I think that's why I've been off my game because my corset has not been on. Okay, so the next thing I have here is this beautiful skirt, which I did post her on my story, but I just thought she was so dreamy. I'm not sure if she's meant to be like a two-piece because I know I've seen like some of these like sequin detail skirts before and they always have like a matching top, but this one was just the skirt there. But either way, I am so happy to have this one in my collection because she is so stunning, so cute. It kind of gives like a little sailor vibe, but also kind of like vintage Americana like baby doll as well, but I love the little like red bows on the corners and also the pretty like frilly details on the bottom and on the top part as well. This one's so pretty. I love how there's like the little flower detail and the middle part you guys. Look how cute this is. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this one or not. She is a medium. She'll be like a little bit too big on me but look at that detail you guys. So pretty. I haven't quite decided on her yet. 
I really love the bottom, how it's kind of like this like fairy trim, kind of like an asymmetrical like fairy hem at the bottom. I really love that so much. Really pretty minty green one. I don't have many of this color, so I get really excited when I find like the fun colors because I'm so like used to finding majority white. So I have fun finding these colors. Sometimes I just buy things that I don't check the sizes. So I just figure out later, I'm like, okay, if it's too big, then I'll sell. If it's not, then I'll keep. But this one, oh, so pretty, you guys. I love the color combo on this, pink. And then you have like the cream trim with the black. It's so pretty, baby dollish. It kind of gives me like Parisian vibes. It almost kind of reminds me of like the Neapolitan color combo that we love so much as well. The fact that these are like all larges are killing me inside right now. Me not checking while I'm in the store. But anyway, this one is so pretty. It's like a soft, very, very soft baby pink color. But I love how this one's like two-tiered, like layered. It's so pretty. It almost makes it look like a little cake or something like that. This one, she's my size. She's my size and thank the Lord she's my size because I could not give her up. Look how beautiful this one is, you guys. I am obsessed with this one. I love this one so much. I love how the bottom is like sheer mesh material and then it has like this like satin lace, satin lace and then the bows and the little pearl buttons. Like everything about this one is so delightful you guys. I am obsessed with this one. I already had a few people asking me to list this one already and I have not gone around to doing it so I apologize. By the time this video is up it's most likely going to be listed. But now, this one was so pretty you guys. I'm not going to keep her personally because obviously i don't like to keep a lot of black but look how pretty this one is look at the flower details you guys they're so pretty i love this i love this one so much look at this dress i don't find a whole lot of burgundy so when i do i'm excited about it yes i am a little vintage black dress black rosettes on the top part but this one's like a little yeah it's like a little mini dress so pretty and romantic also ended up finding this one. I think she's also large. Yeah, this one's a large too. No. <laughs> so pretty. I love how there's like these little like baby blue roses all throughout. I feel like I don't find this color combo ever, honestly. The pink and blue. It kind of reminds me of like cotton candy a little bit too. So I am happy to have found this one. Oh my goodness. I actually found this one at the same time that I found the red velvet one. So I was like, what is happening? A velvet party in here? Look. Oh my goodness, look at this detail, you guys. What? It's not just a velvet skirt, okay? There is lace details. Look at the bottom. Oh my god. I can't. Look at the flower. I'm remembering that at that location, I also picked up this purse here. It's like a little Minnie and Mickey Mouse Disney purse. So cute. And then I also picked up this cute little bear. Isn't she the cutest? She's all pink and she's holding a little like heart shaped pillow in her hand and she has a bow. This little like butterfly detail right here and like these leaf details and I love how there's like swirlies at the bottom too. I'll probably end up painting it because I really don't have anything this color but I kind of like like the silvery stone kind of a look because it almost makes it look like more antique. And I also picked up this cutest little plate set you guys. It is literal cupcakes literal cupcakes i know so cute so i actually have a set of like maybe two or three of like the bigger cupcakes they're like the same kind of place but they're just bigger and i don't think these ones are pure one i'm not sure if my other ones are but these are like the little mini versions of the ones i have and i just cannot these are gonna be so cute when i make desserts and like different patterns and stuff on them they are so cute you guys so pretty Ugh, i can't i cannot leave things like this behind i have a very hard time i love things like this like super girly like sweet kind of vibe i don't know how to explain it it's just very me okay <laughs> i think we're finally done with day two you guys so we're gonna move on to day three finally and then i still have four over here but like i said i may have done just a tiny bit of thrifting this morning so i may have added a little day fire okay start off day three i ended up finding this really pretty silky night out blue maxi dress i think she's so beautiful i actually have this dress i might have shown it in a previous haul but i have the same dress in pink and of course i had to keep the pink one i'm not sure if i'm gonna be keeping this one or not i think she's absolutely stunning and she reminds me of a dress that i used to wear when i was young like 
all the time. Like my grandpa would be like, are you ever gonna change that dress? You wear it every single day. <laughs> like I was obsessed with it. It was like completely blue velvet. And it looked a lot like this, except it was like made for like kids more. And it, like I said, it was velvet and not silky, but absolutely beautiful. Look at how she shines in the light, you guys. Oh my God. Don't really wear like blazers ever, but like when they have like these really nice patterns like this, it's really hard for me to, to resist because I feel like they look really cute when I style them with like a Victorian and Renaissance type of looks. Ugh. Ah, it's so cute and almost reminds me a little bit of like the Ralph Lauren 2003 one that I sold Obviously not exactly the same, but just like similar color pattern I actually don't think I have any brown corsets So I'm excited to have my first one here and the fact that she's like paired up with this really pretty like Gold color really like adds like a richness to this corset. This is one of those jackets Like I used to wear a lot of these when I was young. It's like these little like crop jackets I don't know if you guys remember these but it's like a blazer, but it's like super duper for crop. This will be really pretty with like elegant gowns. It's really hard to explain, but I'm probably gonna fix her up and add to her and stuff like that. So I picked up this really cute top. I love how it's like, I love funky patterns like this, like where there's like literal fairies like all throughout the top. I think that's such a unique thing. Thing. I probably won't keep this to myself because I feel like the colors are just not quite me But it was like way too cool to pass up on it's like vintage too And like I said the little fairies all throughout were just something that I could not leave behind So I probably will end up posting her in my shop I also ended up picking up this really pretty Victoria's Secret lip dress I love how the bottom is like entirely like see-through and the top part is like this really pretty like satiny detail with like flowers in the middle this is another one of those pieces Oh, this isn't even it. Look at you guys. I'm about to get confused. I actually found two dresses that were like very, very similar in the same day. So I thought that this is the one I showed you guys on Instagram, but it was actually this one. So I am having a hard time deciding like, do I keep them both? <laughs> do I keep them both? I know for a fact that I want to keep this one. She's my size and everything. Absolutely stunning. There's like a little like bra pad that's like coming out. So I'll probably like sew that back up but oh, absolutely pretty like i just cannot with this dress i love like the ruched detailing in the middle here and like the amount of like gold sequin details it's just oh. this one as well is so pretty you guys and it reminds me a lot of that one except this one's obviously like has glittery detail all over it and that one doesn't but green is my second favorite color so it's really really hard for me to ever part ways with green this one i found at the same location that i found this one at she was there as well i was like what is going on with this location today it is just absolutely incredible this one is a little gunny sax dress super cute i love this this one is i want to say it's probably going to be like a little bit too small on me i'm not quite sure but oh i love the way she's made it's a little bit different than the green that i would normally wear normally i would wear like more of a a sage kind of like leaf green and this one's kind of like giving me more of like a royal green I actually think that I found this pattern twice this week but I only picked up this one the strings are like I tied them really tight so they're looking like the, they're really short but they're really not that short but I really like this one I love how it's like kind of like this funky like in some lights it looks red and other lights it looks purple but I really love that and I love how there's like an entirely open back here and this one is vintage city triangles I love when I find vintage pieces. This one will be listed in my shop. By the time this video is up, these will already be listed. And then I also picked up this City Triangles piece. Super stunning. You guys know how much I love things that glitter and shine in the light. Absolutely stunning. And I love when I find new with tags. It has like this kind of like damask pattern all throughout. And you guys know how much I really love this pattern. This one's kind of like a charcoal gray color and it has like a silvery detail on top. I felt like this top was like perfect for the time of year right now. I felt like it's very like festival girly. Look at this. I just think it's so pretty. Look at those details on this one, you guys. I don't know what's so funny about this is I found this and thought it was so beautiful. And then I noticed like something later, which I am going to show you in a minute. But look how pretty this is you guys like there's so much going on in this dress and I just think she's so unique looking like very like gypsy free spirit I love this look at the details in the middle too you guys oh my goodness but when I got home oh let me show you guys that too 
Look at the roses. So pretty. So when I got home, I noticed there was literal men in the dress. Do you see them? <laughs> it almost looks like a painting in the top part, you guys. That is so cool. I love this. Ugh. I don't think like I know this is like more of like a darker like bohemian kind of a vibe so it's like a little bit of the opposite of what I am most of the time but I don't know if I can let this one leave my side at least for a little while because this one is just a very unique piece I love her I picked up this really pretty purse here I love collecting like little tiny little clutch bags like this that look like very Victorian and this one has really pretty like sequiny details all around the roses which I think is so pretty I found the coolest pair of heels the other day look how pretty these are you guys they look so baby doll and not only that they're entirely leather you guys also ended up finding these rare gems as well so these i'm actually going to end up listing in my store but look at those flowers you guys oh my god they're so pretty these are going to end up in my store as well as the leather ones that you guys just seen as well i am a sucker for flowers you guys i ended up picking up this whole bouquet like i couldn't believe that this was all together for six dollars six dollars you guys if you guys go to hobby lobby you know that literally just one flower will be $6.99, okay, like by itself. So the fact that I found like all of these together is amazing. And they're all giving like springy summery vibes too. So I was so excited. We are wrapped up with day three finally, you guys. Now we're going to dip in to these bags that are more fresh, day four bags. And then I'll show you the little bit of stuff that I found today. What did I say in the last haul? There's not me without a creepy doll in the haul. So my mom have, has already claimed this, okay? <laughs> she was like literally in love with her dress. So she has already been claimed, but I'm obsessed. I love this dress as well. Like I think that she's so cute in this dress. Look at it, look at all the details. Oh, I can't. This next one, one of those ones I am so excited about guys look she kind of gives me the vibe of the one i showed you guys earlier that i was like in love with but like look at the little bow detail that's to like shut the front and this is the second part of it you guys i am so in love i get so excited this week is just it's amazing i'm speechless i literally have no words and i always have words <laughs> I picked up the most adorable cross charm those are hearts that make up the cross you guys I'm in love and I love the weight of this one as well I ended up picking up this dress I thought it was really pretty I love when there's like a whole lot of like glitter in the dress so pretty this one I'm not gonna end up keeping for myself but I am gonna put her in my shop and look at the sleeves you guys they belt out so pretty it's like a little disco ball picked up this black piece this one obviously is better for like winter months but I love how there's like this bib detail all around the front so what's so funny about this next piece is I actually have the same exact jacket except I have the BB version so the back of it actually says BB in rhinestones but I ended up finding this one which is so cool like I've never actually seen anything so close to it so I had to pick this one up because I feel like my BB one is so iconic and I love the way that it's made it's up at this really pretty Victoria's Secret top this one is so pretty look at all the pretty floral details in this one and all the different colors I think it's perfect for like the spring and summer months this is one of those slips that I'm just utterly in love with you guys look closer look at the rose details in this one you guys and it's this beautiful soft pink rosy shade which i'm obsessed with and i love how there's like a little bow detail in the middle as well and this part is sheer and look at the bottom it's up this little slip dress as well this one is like a creamy shade and then it has like pretty black detailing with little polka dots in the middle as well this one kind of gives me like a little french girl vibe and this one probably will end up being listed because it was a little bit too big on me, unfortunately. I want to say that I had this one already in my closet. So this one most likely will be listed. But I have to double check first because I kind of vaguely remember this being in my closet. But I'm not like 100% sure. But I love the like sequin detail. I love this scarf. Like I already liked like the detail of it and the way that it looked. But when I took a closer look, it says I love you. 
That is so cute. It made me love it even more. I also picked up this one, you guys. This week was so good. So, so, so good. And it's like while I'm in the store, I want to post to Instagram more often, but I kind of like spread out my videos like further apart. But I actually find most of my finds in the same day. I just take longer to post the video because I don't want to like bombard you guys with a bunch of stuff on the news feed. So I kind of just like take it one video at a time. But most of the time I find all these great things in one day and sometimes I film while I'm in the store but other times I'm just like let me get to the next one because I want to keep going on my luck so this one I will be listing on my shop I initially liked it for me but my boobs they're not going in here <laughs> they're not gonna fit in there this one is so pretty too it's almost like soft lavendery pinkish in some lights which I really love and then the trim is kind of like this like grayish blue I feel like it's like this color combo that I've never quite seen before and this next one too you guys I'm probably gonna have to list her because I think she's gonna be too big but I really love the details in this it's kind of like a velvety material but then like the roses aren't they're more of like this like silky mesh material and then there's like little sequins on top of the roses and the next piece that i have here you guys is this really stunning dress it's entirely velvet and then the bottom surprises us with a little lacy detail on the bottom which i love so much this is one of those dresses that i just love so much i love when dresses are made like this it kind of has like this off the shoulder top and it's like super ruffly over the bust area and then it's just such a long maxi i have like two other dresses that are very very similar one's like a soft blue color and i think i might have one like a peachy-ish color but this color you guys i love so much it's like that perfect like springtime dress so this is what it's supposed to look like once it's on but I love that, you guys. Isn't it so stunning? This is a really pretty slip. Look at this. It's entirely lace, you guys. Look how dreamy this piece is. The only thing that I hate about this is that it's not my size. But I want to say that I have one pretty similar. So I think I'll be okay. I think I'll survive. But she will be in my shop. <laughs> this one is a poncho, actually. And I'm not usually a huge fan of ponchos. But if they're pink, I cannot leave them there. So I actually have one that's very similar similar to this one so I'll probably end up selling this one but look at that little rose detail it reminds me so much of my youth because I used to wear like little things like this over top of dresses but the fact that this one is cheetah print you guys I'm in love and she's vintage I just cannot I cannot wait to pair this on top of like a really cute like mini dress put on my little sunglasses maybe a cute little hat and just be very extra <laughs> one is another very dreamy pink slip dress for nighttime. I love finding pink, you guys. I love the front of this. I feel like it's very like dainty and beautiful. This next piece is this one. Very festival-like as well. I really love this one because it has like the fringe at the bottom and the creamy color and I think this is a really pretty like layering piece. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep this one to myself because she is a large. This next piece you guys it kind of makes me sad because I feel like this one's too big for me but I really love the detail of this one because it feels like very old and antique. The lace itself it's just it's just that kind of lace that I feel like they don't make anymore and so I just could not leave her behind even though she was too big I was sitting here debating like should I just like throw a corset on top of her or should I just part ways I honestly am still torn because I just love the details and I also ended up picking up this really pretty turquoise slip as well. This one, again, is another one of those pieces that is going to be too big for me. So I probably will sell her. But I love the flower details all around. And the bow, of course. I also picked up this really pretty skirt. It kind of gave me like Y2K vibes. I really love how there's like butterfly and floral details all throughout the skirt. And I also have found this beauty as well. I really love pink 90s. And this one's like a pink and purple one it has a new panty attached as well but this one will be listed in my shop love picking up these like y2k kind of belts this one is on the heavier side too which i love and it kind of has like this little like square detail but very funky pattern which i love throwing these on top of like maxi skirts especially for like the spring and summer months look how darling this skirt is so pretty and flowy I love the way this one looks. Like I don't have anything like quite this color either and I really love this color. I ended up picking up this vest. I'll probably sell this one, but I just could not leave these details behind. It's kind of like 
floral, floral detail all around the vest and I just thought it was really cool and it looked very Victorian I love how there's like lace details and like little glitter and I love the little front piece it's kind of like looks like little rhinestones and I love the back Look how it laces up to And the next piece, you guys, you guys know how much I really love jackets like this that kind of have like damask or like floral detail pattern all throughout. It kind of just gives me like old style, like Renaissance, Victorian kind of a... And I love how there's like this like ruffly detail all along the trim as well. I ended up finding this really pretty slip. I love how it has like a lot of different like fun springy colors all throughout. I think this one is a large, yeah, it's a large too. So this one will end up in my shop. For a few shoes, I ended up finding these really pretty ones. I love how it has like this fringe detail all around. Then I also found these shoes, which I love so much. These ones are actually free people. And I've never seen like shoes by free people like this before. So I thought they were really fun and unique and I love like the floral pattern. So these I'll probably end up selling because like, they were like a half a size too big for me, but too fun to leave behind. I also picked up another one of those chain belts. This one has a fun detail on it as well and a heavier weight. I ended up finding this really pretty heart-shaped wreath kind of a thing. I thought this would be really pretty <laughs> like just like decorating the house with because I just love flowers and I love like pink ones like this especially. I also found a big bag of lace which I love because there's so many DIY projects that I have to do. Very stunning pink heels. I really love these because they kind of give me like ballerina vibes. I love the little roses on them as well. I don't know if I showed this on Instagram yet or not, I can't remember, but I ended up finding the cutest little planter. It's so funny because I actually saw this in the employee area and you can see the employee area from the outside of the store. And so I saw this from the outside and then I went inside and was like, can I have that like little planter that you guys have in the back I can see from outside? And like luckily we asked the right lady because she was super nice and she only gave me this for $19. So I was stoked. Look at how cute this looks with all of my things. Like I'm in love with this and I cannot wait to decorate with her. And look at the little heart, you guys. Oh, I cannot. It's so me. It's ridiculous. They're really cute heels. I really love these. I actually used to have some very similar and I don't know what happened to them, but <laughs> I could not leave them there. I just think they're so fun and so like white to K. Like whimsy goth too, but I love how there's like the little sequin detail up the side. Pretty little bouquet of flowers. And it honestly reminded me of another one that I think I had in a previous haul, which was this one. So I was really excited to find these because they look like very real and I'll probably end up painting the bottles of these so that they can look more my look because I'm not really feeling like the clear green that much, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Also ended up finding the cutest little candle holder, you guys. Look, it's like a little fairy and she's holding the candle. I'm not sure if this candle was meant to go with it or not, but this is what she looks like. So stunning, I love. And I also ended up finding this cute little heart shape box. It has like this really pretty like rose detail all around the box as well, which I love. I'm not like 100% a fan of the blue. So I'll probably end up painting her pink, honestly. What a surprise there. This is what she looks like. Look at how stunning this lamp is. I cannot with this lamp. Look how pretty the floral details are and like the little butterflies at the bottom, you guys. I could not believe she was there. I can't believe like nobody wanted this. I thought she was so pretty. I think this is actually my final thing for day four. Okay, you guys, so that finally concludes all the thrifts that I already had here. But like I told you guys, I might have been a wee bit of shopping this morning. So I'm going to just show you those last few thrifts. I cannot actually believe that we were finally on the last bit of stuff. I just can't. <laughs> For today's pieces, I ended up getting this really cute little tank here. It looks very vintage to me, and I feel like these kind are very hard for me to find. Like, I always end up finding at antique stores for like $80 and $90. So I finally scored one for only $3. Somebody just let me have this. Thank you so much for whoever priced this because... I am living right now because I've been waiting for one like this, especially with like all the eyelet details in it. I also ended up picking up this one, which I think is so pretty. I love the bow detail and I love the little pink 
little like roses all throughout at this store i didn't have an opportunity to try everything on so this one honestly probably is not even gonna fit me so i'm probably gonna end up putting this one in my shop next piece i have here is this one you guys i am so in love with this look how pretty the sleeves on this are like you guys are you kidding me I love when there's these kind of sleeves. One of my favorite tops of all time in my closet looks very similar to this, except it's like purple and pink. And this one's like a blue and brown combo, but I love the sequins and all the like glittery details and the bottom, you guys. I love how it's like kind of like fairy asymmetrical hem to it. I think she's gonna end up being a little bit too big for me though, but I really could not leave this one behind because I really love the halter top and I love like the little, again at the bottom, how it's kind of like asymmetrical and the stripes are honestly really pretty as well in the crocheting. This is just like a perfect like springy summer piece. The longest haul I've ever done. <laughs> I ended up finding this one as well, you guys, which I love. Again, it's kind of like giving like that Y2K pop star look again with like the little circle in the middle which I really love and I love like this like disco ball kind of vibe it's kind of like this little like simple black cardigan it kind of gives me like French girl vibes I really love how there's like these little flower details and when I found this one I died I died look how cute it is I love this like I am obsessed with things that look very different and this is just very different like it's kind of giving me like siren core kind of like mermaid but like look at the sleeves you guys how they bell out and how they have like the cutest little lace detail all around and the back as well you guys look at the little lace trim I also picked up this top you guys but now that I got it I'm like thinking that it's an extra small so she's not gonna fit me but I love when I I find like a little pink tank pretty pink one this one I think is a size large too but this is just gonna have I'm just gonna have to deal with it with this one okay because this one has like one of those tie backs so I can make it like smaller to fit me better so I'm hoping that little tie helps me because I love this and I also picked up this one as well for my shop because she is too big for me but I did love how this kind of gave me again kind of like that Y2K pop star look this is another piece that's too big for me unfortunately but I could not leave behind these details like look at this lace trim you guys it's so pretty why can't she be my size I probably already have something like this in my closet to be honest but like I said when I see them can't leave them it's from Victoria's Secret in that pretty like soft peachy tone I really like the peachy pink because it kind of gives me like vintage vibe a little bit kind of more of a vintage pink so I don't know if I want to keep this one or not because she is a large, so I might have to part ways with this one. I picked up this black one as well. I want to say I picked up a white one this week too. I don't even know honestly if I showed it or not. I probably did earlier in the video, but I ended up finding the black one today. So I was really excited to find this one. This one is a size medium, but I think that this one might be... A little bit too big for me so but like I said I don't really wear black often anyway so this one will be in my shop I could not leave her behind because she has such a vintage feel to her you can tell that she was handmade a long time ago you can just tell by feeling it so I could not leave her there especially for five dollars I love the detail on the sleeves here ended up finding a beautiful Sue Wong dress you guys this just looks like a beautiful sunset look at this dress you guys I did find Find, like an imperfection or something on it like a little small spot but honestly it's so it just gets lost in the pattern so you barely can tell it's there but it's like this little small spot right there but it's really no big deal because look at how beautiful this dress is you guys and it's so long look at those details they're so beautiful all around you guys this one will be listed in my shop just because she's not like entirely my color palette but was I gonna leave behind Sue Wong there is no way this one reminded me of another one that I listed on my I posted a little reel of it when it was in the store but it was like a pinkish like mauvey color but I ended up finding one very similar in black so obviously I'm gonna be selling the black one really love this jacket it just kind of gives me again like that Victorian vibe like Victorian kind of like Claire from Outlander kind of vibes and look at the trim like around the neck too like all these little details they're just they matter I ended up picking up this really pretty dress I love the little bow detail in the middle you guys and like the flower details are so pretty I haven't tried this one on yet I want to say this is like bigger than like this area right now 
But it's this really huge like petticoat skirt, but I couldn't leave it because I just love how extra this one is. It flares out so much. And when I find the petticoat kind of skirts, they don't flare a lot. So this one, I was like, yeah, I gotta have that one. I love how much it flares. I think I only have one other one that flares this much and it's kind of like a turquoisey color. So that wraps up the clothes. So now I'm gonna show you guys a couple of decor pieces. I ended up picking up the cutest, sweetest little lamb. I love his stance. He almost looks like a dog right here. And his little bow is so cute, you guys. I also picked up this pretty Victorian girl as well. I find like a lot of these like little figurines a lot, but not really ones that I really like that much, but this one I thought was really pretty. Also picked up a little Betty Boop doll as well. I love that she was new in her packaging. So I'm like still debating, like her packaging is all jacked up, but I don't know, I'm debating like, should I keep her in the jacked up packaging or should I just take her out and free her? I don't know. What do you think? I'm a sucker for bird cages. Okay, I know, I have a problem. I love how this one opens up in the front too. It's so cute, you guys. I know, I have so many bird cages. There's literally one like right behind me. I have a few in my bedroom. I'm just, I love bird cages. I really want one that's like super huge that can go on the ground. I'm still looking for that one, but I haven't found her yet, but I did pick up this one. I love all the heart details all over this one. I don't know. Like, I kind of like like the rustic color that it's showing right now, but I don't know. Like, you guys know how much I love pink, so... I'm still debating on what color I'm gonna paint it, but it's super pretty. I also picked up this really cool gold platter. I got this one. It's super heavy, but I love the way that this looks, you guys. Like, it has, like, the cutest little legs and, like, little feet on them. It's so stunning. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet. Like, either I'm gonna display, like, a little tea set on it, or maybe I'll display, like, jewelry, or, I don't know, shoes, anything, honestly. I just think it's so stunning. I'm on the final thing. I ended up finding this box that has crosses all over it, you guys. This looks so cute in medieval. Like, obviously, it's not from, like, those times, but the way that it looks is so cool. It's almost like there's gonna be, like, a bunch of, like, hidden lost gems in here or, like, spell books or, like, something really cool. So I can't wait to put some of my own cool things in here. I'm, like, kind of, like, debating, like, should I paint it gold? Should I paint it gold or should I keep it the way it looks? You think the way that it looks makes it like look old? You guys tell me because I feel like the way that it is right now kind of like plays into that like oh it's ancient kind of a thing. Like is there a way to make it look more ancient you guys? I don't know. I cannot believe we actually made it to the end. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. And oh my God, I, got, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did because this was so much fun. Like I'm literally exhausted. But the fact that I found all these things this week is just amazing. It's impeccable. I am so excited, you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here because I have a lot to do and I have to get listing those items for you guys as well because I know a lot of you are waiting for the next best pieces on my shop. So make sure, just please be patient with me because as you can see, I have so much. And not only that, I already had like a stack of stuff to post and I just got through with a market. So I have a lot to do, you guys. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and click the bell notification to be notified when I post a video because I have a lot more coming for you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.